even though it is dark, you can see the blackout coming together. No more chrome. Yo, what's going on guys? It's Taco Rick. Welcome back to the channel. And today's video, we need to address, well, it's probably in the title of the video. We need to address one of the things I hate most about vehicles in terms of their appearance. As you guys might have seen on my last Tacoma, the first thing, one of the first things I pretty much did was black out all of the chrome because I just, I don't like chrome. And Toyota really made it hard for me to be able to do this because they put a lot more chrome on the 2020s than I had on the 2018. But um, today we're gonna be addressing as much of that as I can physically do. I do have some future projects coming with some of the stuff on here that's going to take care of the chrome so I can't necessarily do it now but we're going to do a very very cheap and quick and dirty way to remove as much chrome as possible today. So to start off let's look at where all we have chrome on the 2020 Tacomas. First off we got chrome on the badge. You, you guys can probably already guess what's coming but I have a future plan to fix this area. Secondly we got chrome in the headlights and we got chrome in our fog light down here now you can't really remove this because it's part of the reflectors at least in the fog lights but today if I have enough we're gonna address the fog lights but with the headlight I have a future project with diode dynamics coming where we're basically going to tear apart these headlights and we're gonna physically go in and black out everything in here and do some really cool upgrades with the lighting so that's a future project moving around we also have chrome in the damn side markers so we're gonna address that today I have some extra tint film we're gonna tint those today and if we have any leftover we'll do the fronts as well coming down from there we have the the big old Tacoma badge. We are going to be plasti dipping this black just like I did in the last video. Now just to point out because some might mention I do have chrome on the fuel logo down here on the rim. That is, that's fine. That's fine because you already have black, just a little bit of chrome touches on the wheels. I'm cool with that. But when you have it up here on the gray, it just, it just doesn't look right. Chrome with the black accents, that looks fine. That's just a little bit of hint, a little bit of branding. Up here though, like, we gotta black that. Now coming around to the back of the vehicle, we do have the big chrome V6 badge. I'm gonna completely remove that. If you guys remember when I did the last time when I plasti dipped on the 2018, I just removed this V6 logo. I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. And while I'm at it, I'm going to be removing the Fred Anderson uh, logo over there because I hate when dealers put their branding on my vehicle. So we're gonna remove this, we're gonna remove that, and then I have a really cool Thing we're going to be doing here. I have some blackout letters we're going to be putting inside of the Tacoma lettering so that those stand out. It's going to be really cool. Now to the part that I hate. So on the 2018 Tacomas, this back housing right here for the most part was already black. The only thing that was chrome was the reflector and that was it. On the 2020s, they decided to put this damn big chrome everywhere. Like chrome, there's chrome. <sighs> I haven't really decided what I'm going to do to remove that chrome, but it's it's got to go. I'm, I'm thinking I'm probably just going to buy some new taillights. So I'm thinking about buying some aftermarket taillights. They, there's some really cool ones that just came out, but they're, they're already out of stock on those, uh, probably due to demand and also the coronavirus that's going around. So the plan is to buy some aftermarket taillights to put in here, or if I can find the TRD Pro model ones. The TRD Pro model ones are already black, so whatever is cheaper, if I can find some aftermarket ones, they're probably gonna be cheaper than the TRD Pro ones because Toyota parts for the Tacomas are just absolutely ridiculously expensive. On the back of the tailgate here is everything we're gonna be putting on the Tacoma to do this quick and dirty blackout. Um, and I wanted to just point out that everything you're going to need that I'm going to be using here is literally less than $60. It's actually more around like 40 to 50 bucks to do everything you're going to see me do in this quick and dirty um, blackout. So if you're interested in doing this, it's pretty cheap and affordable to do. So first off, our Tacoma emblems on the sides, we're going to be using some Plasti Dip. We got some matte black Plasti Dip that we're going to be using. I think I only need one can, but I have two just in case. We do have some painter's tape and also some trash bags that I'm going to be using to basically mask off the areas that we're going to be Plasti Dipping. Next part of it, we have our tint film, and this is a little bit like beat up as you can tell. This is what I have left over from my last truck when I did the headlights and the fog lights and the emblem and the side markers. So I kind of measured it out. I should have enough to do both of the side markers 
and do the fog lights, which is the plan. And to do that, we're gonna need um, some water lubrication. So this is just some water in a spray bottle. That way we can spray down the area and we can then squeegee out the water to apply our tint. We have a X-Acto knife right here to be able to trim that up. We're also gonna be using the heat gun to pry off our V6 badge there. And I did just go and look and I can't find my fishing line. So if you guys go back and watch the original video, I'll link it from the 2018 when I took off that V6 badge. I use fishing line to basically shimmy or saw the adhesive behind the V6 badge. Just knowing and doing this before, you pretty much can heat it up and pry it off. So that's what I'm gonna be doing, but I would highly recommend the fishing line method, which I don't have. So like I mentioned, we're gonna be using the heat gun for that as well. And then after we take it off, we're gonna need some adhesive remover. And I got some goo gone right here. That'll remove our adhesive that we have underneath of the bag. I also have um, just my utility knife over here, as well as some fresh blades. We're gonna be using that to kind of take that Fred Anderson uh, decal off of as well on that side. So uh, that's a little bit of what we're gonna be doing, but we'll also need Goo Gone for that. And then lastly here, I have the Tacoma letters that are gonna go into the back of the tailgate. And these are actually raised, but these are actually three dimensional. So these are not just like a decal that goes inside of it. These are actually like physical three dimensional logos. I'm excited to see what that looks like. Also, I got my DJ Life uh, decal. I'm just gonna go ahead and slap that on the truck back in that area. That's all we're gonna be doing. Let's get started by masking off the area we're gonna be plastic dipping. All right, as you can see, the masking is done. And one thing I did really point out is you want to clean the area around the letters. You guys probably saw me spray it, wipe it down, and then I blew it out with some compressed air. That way I knew it was completely dry. I am going to buff this one more time before applying the Plasti Dip, but as you guys can see, I generally mask it off. And Plasti Dip is something we don't have to be too concerned about masking everywhere off because any overspray comes off very simply with just a microfiber towel. So if we get any overspray on the windows or whatever, you just wipe it down with a microfiber towel, it comes perfectly clean. And that's the beauty of Plasti Dip in general. If I wanted to take this off after we paint it, we're perfectly good to go. Also on the other side here, if anyone is not familiar with how you do Plasti Dipping Emblem, what you do is you basically tape off a border around here. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna paint this whole entire area, even the paint behind it, with a good thick coat of like, we're probably gonna do eight passes. So we'll do a light first tack coat, and then we'll just start caking on coat after coat after coat after coat until we have roughly about six to eight layers of Plasti Dip on here. And then I'll show you, we basically peel off the paint around it. We use a toothpick to get into the small area, but uh, that's a masked off, ready to go. And I'm gonna start painting that, and then in between coats, I'll work on the other stuff. All right, so in between coats, you allow 30 minutes. So during that 30 minutes, we're going to get started on the back side. And there we go. V6 badge removed. 100% good to go. Last thing, I did spray Goo Gone on here. So basically, you want to hit it with like a spray whack. Or in my case, I'm actually going to be putting a ceramic coating on this vehicle very shortly sometime this week. So I'm going to hit it with some spray wax after I go ahead and do this side. And then I'll hit them both at the same time. So move over to this side. All right, all good to go. We got both sides removed. Next thing to do is to basically clean off all that goo gone because you don't want that to sit on your paint and then we'll move on to doing the Tacoma letters but first we need to go do another coat of Plasti Dip. As you probably saw there I went a little bit thicker on the second coat and you can do that so the first coat you want to go with the light it's just basically a tack coat and then the second coat you can basically put a nice coat on it followed by the third the fourth the fifth etc they recommend three to four but personally my recommendation if you plan on leaving this on your truck or vehicle for like multiple years is to absolutely do at least six coats. On my 2018, I wish I had footage or like pictures of it, but you know I did the bumper caps on the back and I was actually able to peel that off. It was something, I, the truck was total, so I was just playing around like to see how good it was. Peeled it off completely. Even with the emblems, I could peel it off completely and I put uh, eight coats on that. So I'm gonna be doing eight coats on this. So that was coat two. Coat three will be coming shortly. But now let's get back to the back and let's do the Tacoma letters. All right, so with the Tacoma letters, um, I will link these down in the description down below, um, but they're already on this uh, spaced out the way that they would be spaced out in here. I'm gonna go ahead and slap this on. So basically this is just adhesive. I've already prepped the surface, cleaned it up. 
and we're just gonna be pasting these on. Alright, that's sick. If you guys saw there, I actually peeled back up the T and the A because they were just a little bit off. Um, and I did that just simply by putting just very carefully because you don't want to hit the paint and knock it. Peeling up underneath of one of the ledges, I was able to move these over a little bit. But the, this side completely lined up perfectly good. So that's it. That's the, that's the rear end with the V6 badge removed, the Fred Anderson logo removed, and the new blacked out letters in the center. That is sick. All right, so what do we have left? Right now we gotta do the tinting on the fog lights and the side markers, and then also we need to continue doing the plastic dip because we only got two coats and we got four, four to six more to go. So plastic dipping takes forever just because of multiple coats, but you can get, you can get a lot done in between those coats, which is nice. So uh, I'm gonna start laying out the tint, cutting it to the shapes, and then we'll get started. We'll, we'll start definitely on the fog lights. I'm not sure if I can do the side markers with the plastic dip being right below it because the water might drip on it and ruin the plastic dip, you, you know the deal. We might be able to actually make some sort of a catch barrier though so it doesn't drip on them. We'll try, here we go. All right, so as you saw there, I was able to create all of my tint pieces that I'm going to need. Like I said, we're gonna go ahead and get started on the fog lights, which are these two right here. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray, this is just water, we're gonna spray down some water on the light. We're going to apply the film, and then we're gonna use a combination of heat with the heat gun and the squeegee to fixate the tint to the actual lens, and then we will trim it up with this X-Acto knife, and that should be it. So let's, uh, let's get into it. I actually remembered it's very easy to just take the fog lamps out of the truck and that makes tinting them even easier so as you can see it is out and here it is I have completely finished the tint turned out really well other than a little bit of the edges that won't be seen once it's up in there it is good to go and this is actually only held in by uh, one Phillips screw so it is very easy to take these out so this one's done now I'm gonna go ahead and take out the other side and uh, get started on the other side oh but first gotta put another coat of plastic dip on And there you go, the second one, all done. As you can tell, it's a lot easier to do this um, without it on the vehicle. That was really quick. If you guys couldn't tell, main thing you do is you kind of tack it down in one area, you heat it up, and then you stretch the tint out around the outside of the lens, um, and then you basically squeegee it out. Nice and clean, trim up your edges, and you're good to go. A lot easier to do it when you're not on the truck, when you just do it out in the open. So that's the second one done, put it back in, and uh, Put another coat of plastic dip on and just keep rolling. I'll show you guys on the other side, but I decided I'm going to take these out as well to uh, make it a lot easier with um, tinting these. So I'm going to take these out also so it doesn't ruin the plastic dip. So I'll, I'll show you guys how you take that off. It's really simple. You just kind of pry on it. And then I'm going to take these screws off and get this out. And then I'll show you on the other side fully how you do this. All right, so to remove this, uh, what you're going to do is grab on the ledge here and kind of just pull, and it'll pop up at the top, across, and then you just want to continue pulling right on this. And it, it sounds like you break a lot of stuff, but really you're just popping the clips off. That's it. So that comes off very easily. It just pops right back on when we put it back on. Now, as you saw in the last one, there's two screws here. We're going to remove both those screws. So now what you're going to do is pry on the plastic a little bit, just to loosen it up. Then you're going to want to lift, basically you just pry on it. There's also a little clip up here, right? Basically you just fiddle with it until you get it loose. And then there's a little clip on the outside that you undo this clip. And there we go. We're good to go tint. And that right there, if you guys can see in the light, is one side done. So let's go ahead, let's go install it and make sure that it, it looks proper. And then we'll do the other side, but we also got plastic dip to do, so let's get to it. Much better. Much better. Alright, on to the next one.
All right, so there is number two, all tinted, ready to go. So um, we're gonna do another coat of plastic dip and let's go ahead and install the right one. And uh, we're getting close to being done. All right, we are losing daylight, as you can probably tell. So I'm down to, I think, I have no clue, I lost track of how many coats I'm on, but I'm only doing one more. And then I'm gonna back the truck into the garage and then kind of just uh, wait until it finally cures and then I'll come back in the garage uh, later on after a couple hours, gonna go eat some dinner and then I'll start peeling the plastic dip around it. But just wanted to give you guys a quick look at what it looks like now with the blacked out fog lights and side markers. And then also I wanna put that uh, DJ Life decal on and um, yeah, so take a look. Looks dope, I like it. When we get rid of all that masking, man guys, if you know what's coming, well you guys probably know what's coming. We got a new grill coming of some sort. I'm not sure what grill it's gonna be. And then also completely taking apart these headlights. Like all this chrome you see in here, I'm gonna literally paint it completely black. This thing's gonna look sick. Tinting turned out really clean. The tinting actually looks a lot better than the first time I did on the 2018. I guess uh, experience comes with that, but um, they look sick. All right, there we go. We got the DJ Life logo up there ready to go. More decals to come on the back eventually. But would you look at that back? Yeah, that's way better. All right, last coat of plastic dip. Here we go. All right, guys, as you can see, I pulled off the masking. I did leave that little bit of the little square, the initial square, because I'm going to have to let that cure up, and then I'll start pulling the plastic dip around it to clean that all up even though it is dark you can see the blackout coming together no more chrome man when that grill and headlights are done though it's gonna be looking good okay so i'm gonna back the truck up into the garage let that cure up for about an hour or so while i go eat and then uh, i'll come back and i will film it for you guys me taking the plastic dip off and show you guys the final thing and then probably i'll come back tomorrow and give you guys a nice little overall shot and some pictures of the final quick and dirty blackout so there we go. Well, quite some hours have passed. Um, it's actually probably been like three hours, I think. I got busy doing DJ stuff, so uh, I'm back now, and we're gonna peel off uh, all of the excess around the letters. Before I start, uh, one tip, two picks. Two picks are really good for getting in between like this A, like getting in where the A is, and getting around the C and the O and the other A. Um, these are really helpful to kind of peel back at the plastic dip without scratching the paint. Just a dull toothpick and you want to you want to like kind of dull the tip down a little bit. There's a little tip for getting into the little fine areas to get that off but I'm gonna get started it's gonna be a while. So we'll get the passenger side done then we'll go to the driver's side. Done! That, I forgot that like if you put on a ton of coats it comes off really easy. As you saw you kind of just pull around the letter and it comes off nice and easy. Now you do want to let this cure for like 24 hours or so before you start washing it and stuff like scrubbing on it but once this thing is cured for at least 24 hours it's pretty durable i've definitely taken like wash rags over it with some pretty intense washing and had no problem so let's go knock out the other side and we'll be done good morning it is the next day i'm gonna pull the truck out so i can show you guys uh, what it looks like with all the new black stuff out in, out in the thing so and voila, there is the badge on this side. Yes, my camera cut out last night when I was doing that one, but there's that. The side markers, fog lights looking good, clean. Just gotta do something about them headlights and that grill and we'll be good to go. Let's take a look at the back real quick. Yep, need to do something about those tail lights too, but ooh, that looks dope. So yeah, like I mentioned, uh, all that's left to do now is the tail lights, the headlights, and the grill, and we'll have no more chrome. But anyways, this was a, a quick video, just basically a cheap way to kind of black out stuff. You could just go ahead and tint the headlights and tint the badge, like. I did on my 2018 but like I said I got other plans for stuff that's coming for that and then the tail lights I'm gonna have to buy either some new tail lights or tint those one or the other probably just gonna buy some new one for more content for you guys but anyways that's all for this video be sure to like comment down below what you think subscribe for new videos all that fun stuff I'm squinting because it's super bright out but uh taco break out peace